Hi, my name's Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems and today I look forward to previewing the enhanced model editing features in Enterprise Architect 14. This presentation will showcase just a fraction of the overall Enterprise Architect 14 release. We start by taking a look at the all new context browser, followed by the diagram inline specification manager, and finally the enhanced docked property window. The property window allows modelers to quickly and easily edit relationships, structural and behavioral elements, and the diagrams themselves. It also provides additional subpanes to edit technologies such as BPMN, SysML, and ArcGIS, to name but a few. The enhanced model editing in Enterprise Architect 14 webinar, we'll focus on three topics. The context browser, the inline specification manager, and the docked property window. To begin, let's take a closer look at the context browser. The context browser is a new docked window in Enterprise Architect version 14 that works in parallel with the project browser. The main difference is the context browser reduces the noise of the project browser by only showing the content in the currently selected package. This greatly sharpens the focus on the current work set and cuts away the information not currently necessary to modeling. The context browser also works with the navigation bar to quickly and easily find the diagrams and elements you need when you need them. To illustrate how the context browser works, let's imagine you're a business analyst that has been tasked with the job of managing system requirements for a shuttle launch program. You do not particularly care about the classes, architectures or system designs, all you need to focus on is the requirements themselves. The context browser can help you focus on your particular role without getting overwhelmed by the entire project. On screen we have a detailed set of requirements for the management of a shuttle launch console. As a BA, all I want to do is identify and rectify any gaps in the solution. When I look for the Manage User Accounts in the Project Browser, the first thing I notice is a large number of packages and elements not related to the task at hand. I can see organisational charts, use cases, system designs and much, much more. However, when I switch to the context browser, using the Windows option from the Start ribbon, it allows me to focus on the system requirements, reducing project noise and allowing me to focus on the task at hand. You can see that I now have a limited number of requirements listed on screen in the context browser. Using the arrow, I can easily navigate to other requirements. For example, I can access a traceability diagram to understand the impact of any change that I make to manage user accounts. I can easily add new packages, elements or diagrams using the menu system. I can generate out a report in a number of different document or web based formats. I can also select an element on the diagram and instantly find it in the context browser. To briefly review the webinar so far, the Context Browser is an all-new dockable window that works in conjunction with the Project Browser. The Context Browser helps navigate around a project and reduces noise by only showing elements in a given package. This in turn sharpens focus on a given task. Use the navigation bar to provide a seamless method of finding the diagrams and elements you need when you need them. Now let's take a look at the Diagram Inline Specification Manager, or SpecMan for short. The Inline SpecMan provides a document view of any diagram that allows you to quickly edit and review the contents of a diagram. 
You can use the context menu to easily rename, sort and elaborate on any diagram element. One of the key advantages of such an approach is that it helps you easily determine how well a model is documented. At a glance you can identify gaps and ensure that model elements are documented correctly. It can also help you visualise your report layout, which may assist when you are trying to impact decision makers or influence key stakeholders. Finally, whenever you select an item on a diagram, it is automatically selected in the Specification Manager and vice versa. Access the Diagram Inline Specification Manager using the two brackets found on the top right of any diagram. Looking at the text on the right of screen, you can see an element called Identify Gaps that is not currently documented. You can edit element notes by pressing the spacebar or using the context menu. The Specification Manager makes it much simpler to scan a diagram and identify gaps in the specification, which may include errors, undocumented requirements, or problems with the report structure. Spelling errors are also highlighted to ensure that they can be easily corrected. I can also use the context menu to sort elements from top to bottom or left to right. When an element is selected on the diagram, the corresponding notes are automatically selected within the Inline Diagram Specification Manager. When I rename an element in the Specification Manager, those changes are instantly reflected on the diagram itself. Every time I select a different element, the highlight on the right of screen changes accordingly. This is particularly helpful when a diagram may contain hundreds or thousands of elements that need to be documented. Returning to our requirements example, let's see how we might be able to use the Specification Manager to identify gaps in our current solution. Looking at the text describing each requirement, someone has forgotten to document requirement number 377 entitled Console Operator Must Have Security Clearance. We can press the spacebar and edit the note accordingly, helping to ensure our requirements have no gaps and offer a complete model. Enterprise Architect 14 has brought together all of the settings and properties in a vastly improved Docked Properties window. The Docked Property window provides a convenient method for editing and reviewing model information, including the diagrams themselves. On the diagrams, there are options to clearly display element locks. The Properties window now includes a variety of new custom subpanes with detailed configuration settings for many different kinds of elements and technology supported by Enterprise Architect. Technologies such as BPAL, SysML, ArcGIS and wireframes all have custom settings to choose from to improve model accuracy. The Properties window even works on relationships and connectors. It can also be applied to behavioural elements. Access the Dock Property window by selecting Windows followed by Properties from the Start ribbon. The Dock Property window appears on the right of screen. As we select different elements on the diagram or from the project browser, the Properties window automatically updates the window contents accordingly. If you want to make a change to a model element, simply edit the property value and press the Save button. The Properties window can be used to edit diagram properties. Now let's take a look at how easy it is to edit diagram properties for our mind map. Under the General Settings section, you can edit the name of the diagram, the author, and you can filter to a meta model, as has been shown in a previous webinar. The version section allows you to use diagram filters to only show elements of a given version number, which is ideal for displaying as-is and to-be architectures on a single diagram. 
I can quickly ascertain which elements on a diagram are marked as version 2 or version 3 and identify any that are new to a particular version. This is particularly helpful if you have a diagram with hundreds or thousands of elements. Under the Appearance section, I can easily alter a diagram to be hand drawn or apply a whiteboard view. The whiteboard view provides a crisp view of a diagram. Let's assume that we lock one of the elements on a diagram. Enterprise Architect 14 makes it much easier to see which elements on a particular diagram are currently locked and therefore can't be edited. If I return to my diagram properties and select display element lock status, it makes it much easier to identify elements on screen that are locked using the red mark. It is also possible to rapidly switch diagram themes and observe how the different themes alter the appearance of the diagram. I'm going to use a high contrast design to ensure that all of my elements stand out on my diagram. You can even change the look of elements using custom subpanes, such as altering the outline of our mind map element from a rectangle to an ellipse. Note that it appears under a separate mind mapping subpane. Different technologies will have different subpanes, some even capable of managing behaviour. Let's look at some example models to see how they will work in a real world setting. I've used navigation cells to link to a number of different examples that showcase different technologies in Enterprise Architect 14. The first being ArcGIS. The special subpane allows me to alter specialised geospatial properties that may not be seen in other data modelling examples such as CAN version and HAS-Z. This helps to improve model accuracy and avoids entering incorrect property values that may violate technology specific rules. The property window can also be used on connectors and relationships, which can help save time when editing models. When selecting a relationship, the source and target are listed as separate subpanes. With just a few button clicks, I can change a multiplicity to zero to many or one to many. I can also change many other properties related to connectors. Some technologies, such as a Kanban diagram, may not have a separate subpane, but altering a property such as a stereotype will alter the appearance of the diagram based on the technology standard. The property window can also be used on behavioural elements such as a state machine. The state machine on screen has a loop and I'd like to count how many times the loop is executed. Using the property window it is very easy to add a variable called counter and add a corresponding value. When I save changes the diagram is automatically updated. The next example is an Archimate diagram. Under the Archimate tab, I can set the icon style to be false, which will impact the appearance of the diagram. It also makes it easy for me to compare and contrast the settings of different elements on a single diagram to spot mistakes such as this. Wireframes can be built for Win32, Android and Apple phones and tablets. Each of these wireframes allow you to alter technology specific options they can enable buttons or use default styling options. This can be very convenient when building wireframes for your Enterprise Architect models.
When you build systems, you can ensure that all settings are compliant to SysML using the custom subpane. I find the tabs also help to easily identify what version of SysML is currently being modeled. So for the properties window, we showed how to bring up the dockable window, we indicated how you could use it for editing diagrams, applying element locks. We've looked at a number of different technologies, seen how it can be applied to relationships and connectors, and finally, behavioral elements. In this webinar, we briefly examined enhanced model editing in Enterprise Architect 14. The webinar examined the context browser, the diagram inline specification manager, and finally, the docked property window. The first topic was the context browser. We had a look at this docked window that works in parallel with the project browser to help reduce noise, sharpen focus, and make it easier to work on a given task. We used a business analysis example to show how the context browser works. And indeed, we saw how it works with the navigation bar to find what you need when you need it. We showed how the context browser allowed us to focus on just requirements removing the distractions of use cases, classes, org charts, and many other elements to focus on a singular BA task. The next topic was the Inline Specification Manager. It produces a document view that allows us to easily rename, sort, and elaborate on any element. We can scan the text instantly to determine how well documented the diagram is, we can easily identify gaps in any specification. We can also visualize the report layout prior to submission to management or key stakeholders. We also detailed how selecting an element on the diagram automatically selected the corresponding element in the specification manager. The last segment of the webinar was devoted to the properties window. This all new dockable window makes it much easier to edit diagrams. New features make it easier to identify element locks on a diagram. We saw how technologies such as BPAL, SysML, ArcGIS and wireframes all now have custom panes for ensuring that the correct values are always provided for each element. Properties window now also works on relationships and connectors and can even work on behavioral elements. I hope you enjoyed the webinar and look forward to many more in the Enterprise Architect 14 preview series. For more information about Enterprise Architect, please visit www.sparksystems.com.